Okay, so when you get an email from us with a new pattern file for an LK1900B series or an AMS machine, and it's in VDT format, you see it here, VDT format, in order for the sewing machine to recognize the file on the uh, thumb drive or the CF card, you have to create a certain folder. So what we're going to do, I'm going to, I'm in the blank area here on my thumb drive. I'm right clicking new folder and I'm going to name it vData. Okay. And this is the file that I want that I just downloaded from my email attachment. So I'm going to take this copy and paste, right click to paste. And now when I see it here, there's the phone folder. I could also just take it this way and just left click and hold it and just put it in there. It allows me to replace it because it's already in there. But that's how you would do it. And when you click on this, you're going to see this folder. Now, unless you have the PM1 software installed on your computer system, you're not going to get that little icon that's there. Okay, if I right click on this properties, that icon is not going to be there unless you have the PM1 software. So don't be alarmed and you're not going to be able to open it up, but you'll know that it's in there. Now, it's also very important that the uh, thumb drive or the CF card is in the right format for this. If I look at this thumb drive, here's my thumb drive here, and I right click and, pro and hit properties, it says this is FAT32 and I've got a small uh, space here. Sometimes it doesn't recognize, sometimes the Juki machines do not recognize this and it needs to be in FAT32 so you have to reformat it. There's a function to do that on the machine. 